the day. So our question of the day is, where is Jesus now? And why hasn't he returned yet? Or oh, not so much where is Jesus, where he is, but also what is he doing? Well, I, well, this is actually a number of questions. So let me try and answer as much of this as I can in the short space that we have right here. So we'll start in Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 1. The Bible says, now this is the, now the things which we have spoken, this is the summary. We have a high priest, that's Jesus, who is sitting on the right hand of the throne of the majesty, that's the Father, in heaven. So first of all, if you want to know where Jesus is, the Bible says he is sitting on the right hand of the Father in heaven. Mm -hmm. That's fairly simple. Well, whereabouts are they sitting? The Bible says that Jesus there is a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord built and not man. So if you want to know where God's throne is, God's throne is in his sanctuary, his tabernacle, his temple, the one here on earth. You know, one of the grandest buildings ever built was just a very, very faint reflection. The Bible describes it as almost being or as being like a shadow of the great original in heaven where God's throne is. OK, so that's where Jesus is. The Bible says what he is doing there. The Bible says that he is ministering in that temple, in that sanctuary. Well, what does a priest, what does a minister do in the sanctuary? Uh, very simply, uh, a priest would bring blood into the sanctuary or the flesh of an animal into the sanctuary to symbolize the transference of sin from the sinner to God's sanctuary where mm -hmm. God could deal with that sin and be gone forever. Jesus goes into that sanctuary. He doesn't bring the blood of a lamb or the flesh of a lamb. He walks in there with his own body, his own blood, with the merits of his own sacrifice that he you know, died for us on Calvary so that he can then minister on our behalf. Uh, to bring salvation to each one of us. So Jesus right now is in heaven, in the temple in heaven, doing everything that he possibly can to get you there. So that's really good news. Praise yeah. God. Amazing. Yeah. All right. So that was the first part of the question. First two parts of the question. I think the third part was, why hasn't he come yet? And we've yeah. got a minute 50, so let's see what we can do in a short space of time like that. If we go to Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 14, the Bible says, uh, wherefore, beloved, see, where are we? Verse 12, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So the Bible says here that we can actually have an impact on when it is that Jesus returns. Well, how can that happen? If you go to Matthew chapter 24, the Bible gives one of the conditions that must be fulfilled before Jesus can come back. So it's Matthew 24 and down in verse 14, the Bible says, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then the end will come. The Bible is very clear. Mm -hmm. Jesus will not return until every person on this planet has made their decision either for or against him. And the reason for this is obvious. If you go back to uh, where we were in, in, in 2 Peter a minute ago, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 9, the Bible says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. That's the promise of his return. As some men count slackness, he is long-suffering or patient toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Typically what happens is that a person's probation, their opportunity for salvation, ends when they die. Mm -hmm. The decision is made when they die. That, that's not going to change after that. When Jesus returns, something different will take place. Probation for most of the people on this planet will end while they are still alive. Mm -hmm. Therefore, every person must make their final decision before Jesus can close probation, bring it all to an end, and return to this earth. You're listening to Faith FM.